Lonely flower. You too have been touched by him, by his beauty. Mary was very frightened. She said, If you are a pious man and fear God, then do not harm me. He replied, Do not be afraid, Mary. I am Gabriel. God has sent me to you to present you with a virtuous son. Mary wondered, no man has ever touched me, and I've always been perfectly chaste. How is it possible that I can have a child? He said, this is the way of your God. For him, such a thing is easy. God has the power to create anything, whatever he wishes and whatever he commands. To be will surely be. God has given him a name, the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary. He will be well respected in this world and in the hereafter, and he will be among those favored by God. Why are the Pharisees always in charge of these affairs? Isn't it about time for the Sadducees to join them and take part in this matter? Issachar has full authority and responsibility over the temple's treasury and income. Won't it be difficult for him to accept this new responsibility on top of that? The foundations of the temple rest on its wealth and possessions, Zedekiah. It's the same rule that applies universally the world over. Are you planning to challenge me, Zedekiah? No. No, but... Well, I think that perhaps I should probably consult the rest of the Sadducees regarding this matter. Well, go ahead then. Let's go. This is our very last chance. I will not let it pass us by. But what if Hillel complains to Herod about it? Herod is not our problem in this matter. Someone's coming. Your Honor, Issachar, the temple security chief is ready to obey your orders. From this moment on, no one is allowed to enter or leave the temple without my permission. As you wish, but what about Hillel, sir? Be silent! Just do as you are ordered. You may leave! waiting for you, Mary. Come this way so that no one sees you, all right?
Mary. Oh, Mary, you're finally here. Why did you take so long? We haven't much time. You must leave the temple right away. Take this pack and your belongings. Go quickly. You don't seem well. Are you ill? Where will we be going to? First we'll be going to Galilea. You'll need to stay with your aunt for a while. I can't stand the thought of making you suffer more than you already have to just because of me. Or to be shamed. Because... Because of what, dear? Why should we feel ashamed, Mary? Tell me, what's the matter? Why are you crying, my girl? This is breaking my heart. Don't cry now, dear child. You've never caused us any shame. You know we're proud of you. Now hurry. We must get going. I... I... If you have something to say... Zachariah. Zachariah, wait. Excuse me. I'm very sorry. But no one may leave the temple without Issachar's permission first. Issachar has ordered this? Yes. Tell me, do you follow Hillel's instructions or Issachar's? I don't know. Uh, I've just been this ordered way. to control who Come on. enters and leaves the temple. Think of your son. How would he think that you are treating his mentor and teacher? I see. Of course, you must do the right thing. Do the right thing by your son. Yes, you're right. Doing the right thing. God will bless you for this. Mary's behavior is very strange tonight, isn't it? I've been watching her ever since she entered the temple. It may sound crazy, but she seems to be walking like she's pregnant. You be quiet. Why are you talking such nonsense? Mary pregnant? You make such scandalous remarks. I didn't mean to insult anyone. I was just That's saying... That's enough from you now. Hold your tongue. Enough, my darling. My dearest little boy. You've been fed now. It's time for you to go to sleep. I'll just cover you up. That's a good boy, John. I'll hold you for a little while. Then you need to sleep. 
That's a good little boy. There, there, John. Hmm? No. How can I tell Elizabeth and Zachariah that I am bearing a child? How will they answer to the people and to their relatives? No. No. I can't do it. God, please help your humble and weak servant bear this terrible loneliness by holding you in her thoughts. The son of the temple's guard is a friend. That saved us. But what if they still send the soldiers to arrest you? I wouldn't worry. They need to have Herod's orders to arrest people, and I've heard that Herod is very sick right now. I hope God sees fit to take him for good soon. She isn't here. She didn't come. She left the temple last night to come here. Where is she? You're worrying me. What if something happened to her while she was on the way? She doesn't have anywhere else to go but here. And she didn't seem well. She was trembling last night. Joseph, go and look for her. Search the entire route from Galilea to Jerusalem. Maybe she's collapsed with fatigue somewhere. I'll search around here. I promise I'll find her. Don't you worry, Elizabeth.
Hello. Do you have any news of Mary? No. Why? She never arrived. If you find anything out, please let us know. Yes, of course. Goodbye, then. Goodbye. Did you find her? No. What about you? What happened, Zachariah? Why has Mary still not come home yet? Where could she be? God knows what's best. But Mary never lets us worry. She wanted to tell me something, but she seemed so shy about it and preferred to keep it quiet. I wish I could have accompanied her on the way home last night. I don't understand where she could have gone. Mary has no one but you and Galilea. Last night, people reported seeing a shooting star pass by. And now Mary is... I don't know what is going to happen. May God watch over her. never went anywhere unexpectedly. How could this happen? Even Zachariah doesn't know where she's gone to. Yes. And today I saw Joseph looking for her in the temple, too. I saw him with my very own eyes. I see we keep this matter hidden from the public's knowledge. Hidden? Hmm. How can we do that? There are many people who already know as much as we do. But if we don't confirm it, it's different. They mustn't think that we've been hiding something from them. Come. Sir, you must calm down. Uh, these herbal drinks are effective for all kinds of ailments. You need to drink them, sir. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of you and your wretched faces and your disgusting, useless herbs. Quickly, boy, bring me some wine. Uh, no, don't drink it, sir. Don't drink it. That's the real poison. It damages your liver and your health. But at least it'll ease my pain and give me the strength to keep tolerating your miserable faces. matter is. Why don't you speak? My king, three Persian scientists have entered the city and they want to see you. Uh, are they doctors? No, they're astronomers. Uh, I wish they were doctors. You said three Persian scientists. Yes, my king. Do you want me to tell them to come back another time? No. Rumors will spread that Herod is at death's door, and that'll make many people happy. Are they properly dressed? Yes, great Herod. What do the Persians want from us? Don't let them know that I'm not well. These men are nobles and are the scientists of their country. They've traveled here with a caravan. And they've asked to see you once they pass the border of Jerusalem. All right, fine. Tell the liaison officer of the Roman army, Pericles, to be present in the meeting as well. The Persians are staunch enemies of the Romans. 
We just don't want the Roman people to think that there's something going on between us, do we? Tell them to enter. Who would have thought? Mary, of all people. I... Uh, I don't believe it. I say it's impossible. I'm not making it up. I saw Mary walking like a pregnant lady with my own eyes. Uh, all of us here know Mary too well to think it's not possible. Sure it is. Explain why she's gone into hiding. Why Zachariah and Elizabeth don't even know where she is. They're searching for her right now. Joseph has been searching everywhere for her these past few days, hasn't he? But can't seem to find her. Maybe she's left the country. I would have done the same thing if I were her. Quiet, Anna's coming. <gasps> What's going on here? Behind whose back are you talking? Nobody's. <laughs> Dear God, please don't allow these people to humiliate your poor, humble servant, Mary. Let Mary overcome this sedition with victory. Our greetings to you, Herod the Great, King of the land of Judea, and Commander of the Israelites. Welcome to Jerusalem. They have told me that you're Persians. We've had great respect for the Persians ever since Cyrus the Great rescued the Jewish nation from captivity. They've told me that you're a scientist. We also know the value of good scientists. We, too, are well known for building castles, the great temple in Jerusalem, amphitheaters and water canals. We are aware, but something else has drawn us to your land, Herod the Great. We are each from a different part of the Persian Empire. Along the way, we found each other and decided to travel here together. So, why have you come here? We're following a great comet in the sky which has traveled towards your country here. A great comet in the sky? Yes, Herod the Great. A brightly burning shooting star. <sighs> a shooting star is usually either an excuse for a love story or is seen in a nightmare. It's nothing more than that. <sighs> it's nothing serious. However, Great King, this time it wasn't a dream. No. The comet can be seen very clearly in the night sky. I'm happy you came. Pericles, come this way. I came as quickly as I could. Three foreign scientists, right? That's right, sir. I hope it's nothing. This exact star. It's this exact star. Undoubtedly, this star is a sign of the king and savior of the Jews who's coming was promised several thousand years ago. My calculations point to the Messiah's appearance at the precise conjunction of these stars here, just as you'll see. This comet appears in the sky every 2,000 years, and each time it does, 
A wonderfully amazing phenomenon seems to occur. All three of us have reached the same conclusion. The Messiah is a prophet. Most of the ancient books have prophesied his coming with the appearance of this very star. We Persians are monotheistic. We worship Ahura Mazda, and we too await the coming of your Messiah. He shall be the prophet of those who worship God and those who are oppressed. We've brought with us chests filled with gifts of aromatic oils, spices, and perfumes from the different areas of our homeland. We plan to give these to this blessed child. <laughs> the king of the land of the Jews, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right, King? Shall I call the doctor? No. No. So you're looking for the king of the land of the Jews, are you? Yes, oh, that's right. correct. Lucky for him. Yeah, that's fine. Go and find this king that you seek. Allow these men the freedom to search Judea. Let them travel to whithersoever they please, and don't let anyone stand in their way. I hope you find this king and inform us of his whereabouts also, as we too wish to pay homage to this king and offer support as well. Thank you, Your Majesty. May Ahura Mazda bestow good health and longevity on Herod the Great, King of the Land. It'd be nice if your Ahura Mazda could do something. Farewell. Heracles? Yes, Your Highness. I want you to follow these Persians for a few days and inform me as soon as they find this person, this king, do you understand me? Don't let them escape our clutches. Look, Pericles, don't offer this child any mercy. Find him and then get rid of him immediately. And then he fooled everyone by portraying his wife's pregnancy as a miracle. Just terrible. Just like many of you people here, I too respected this old man for his many years. I never doubted his sincerity. I never thought he'd make up these big lies as part of a plan, just to rule over the pure-hearted believers that we are. All people want peace, don't they? But no one should ever be allowed to play with their emotions the way he has done. Especially in such a holy place as this, will you allow someone from the temple to falsely label himself a prophet and then spread sedition and corruption in our land whenever he likes. Will you allow him to excite people by speaking of a divine miracle? Will you allow him to use the people as instruments of his own will to achieve his wicked objectives? Will you allow it? Zachariah is trying to present himself as God's prophet through lies and deception. Here. He takes Get advantage of the, of the people's one. humility and innocence. Will you allow this to continue? Just think about it. Do the prophets of God have jobs? But you all know that he's a carpenter. He only sometimes even visits the temple to deceive everyone. I was his student for many years. I regret it took me so long to figure this out, but now it's my duty to tell you the truth about him. The Honorable Issachar will also familiarize you with Zacharias' true character. Zacharias says blasphemous things. He says things I'm ashamed to repeat. 
But the rabbis ran out of patience when he allowed a woman to enter the holy temple. What a disrespectful act that was. It upsets us so much that we had to throw this disbeliever, this unrelenting liar, out of the temple and out of our sights. Finally and for good. And now we're looking for an appropriate time to punish this evil man for his despicable behavior. That's enough, Nathan. How dare you? Who do you think you are accusing Zachariah of blasphemy and deceit? Who is this man? And in it front of all of these people! Zachariah's followers. You accuse Zechariah while he is not here to answer for himself. Tell us. Tell us how quickly you left his side, how you've done this. To receive more money, and more power, and a higher ranking. Look how quickly and easily you've sold Zechariah to his enemies. God have mercy on us! And now it seems the rabbis have abandoned our faith and replaced it with seditious acts and worldly desires. He is one of Zachariah's supporters. Damn you! Blasphemy! This man is blasphemous! He turned into a disbeliever! What are you all waiting for? Why are you silent? We cannot allow this lying disbeliever to insult the rabbis in Solomon's temple! We Kill him! This. He's a blasphemer! Punish him. Yes, you must punish him! Don't let him get away! That man is a blasphemer! Just wait! Don't interfere! Let the people deal judgment to this man! Stop! Listen to me! Please, listen! He stabbed him! He deserved it! And now it's this yeah, man's turn! He was asking for it! There's no way it is. Stop this! Don't hurt me! I'm... I'm innocent! I've done nothing wrong! Jeroboam! Nathan! Is this man Zachariah's follower? I... No, no, no! I'm not! I'm not! I, I'm not a follower of his! I'm not! If not, then say that Zachariah is a liar. Say it! Say it! Oh, all right, I'll, I'll say it. Zachariah is a liar. Say it louder! Louder! He's a liar! Now say that Zachariah deserves to die. Say it! I'll say it. Zachariah... He deserves to die. Say he must die! Zachariah... Zachariah must die. Zachariah must... <laughs> Surely kill him if he ever sets foot inside the temple again. <laughs> Are you there, Zachariah? <laughs> Hello, Zachariah. Zachariah. What is it? Oh. Zechariah. From Jerusalem? Your relatives have turned the people against you, Zechariah. 
The rabbis are all waiting for an opportunity to get their revenge on you. Those unholy traitors. Don't go to the temple. You must find a place to hide in case they come here. You must hide. I'm sorry, but I am not going anywhere until I find Mary. Mary? Mary is really missing? There are some strange rumors going around about her, Zachariah. It's nothing. You can go. Thank you for the news. <laughs> I'm sorry, Zachariah. Please forgive me. But how can I say this? I, I fear for my life. I'm so afraid. I won't tell anyone that you told me about this. And Joseph. The same. Don't worry, David. God bless you both. I'm so thankful. My life would be in great danger if you told anyone. <laughs> You're crying. What's wrong? No, Zachariah. Jehoash! <laughs> what about him? Speak. They killed him for speaking in your defense, Zachariah. <laughs> Where? They were waiting for us at the temple. They were provoking hatred against you and your followers outside the entrance. <laughs> God forgive me, I wasn't able to help him. They attacked us so suddenly. <laughs> I felt my legs give way. Did they attack you too? <laughs> I understand. They forced you to reject me, right? <laughs> Will you forgive me? Please? It's not your fault, David. I'm sure your life was at risk. Stand, David. You are forgiven. Thank you. Thank you. Mary. Mary, where are you? She's pregnant? Really? Oh, I just knew it. I just knew it. I knew that one day Mary would provide us an excuse to finally get our revenge on that girl. How did they escape the temple in the middle of the night? Did you see how they hid away? I wish they were in our hands right now. I'd know how to punish them. I'd know exactly how to deal with those two. So it seems the rabbis were right about that girl all these years after all. Women find out about these things so quickly. You can't hide anything from them. They're very clever. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Don't you remember how the people used to line up at the temple every day just to get a little bread from her? They must She's feel like fools now. Yeah, you're right. How ridiculous. What a disgrace. You'd be finished. No wonder they went into hiding. That's the only explanation. There's no other yes. reason for it. Do you think she'd ever be able to return to town again? I think mm -hmm. not. She couldn't even consider it. I doubt she'll have the nerve right. to look at anyone in the eye ever again. <laughs> Dear God, how can I ever possibly return to the Israelites while I'm bearing this child in me? Where can I say this child has come from? What am I to do now? How can I tell them that no one has touched me? I'll be humiliated.
I must retreat to a place where no one can find me. I am ever thankful to you for allowing me to continue serving you by blessing me with longevity. I thank you for blessing me with dear little John as my descendant. Mary is not among us anymore, but I feel as though a very important event is about to happen, God. Wherever she is, please protect her.